prove their desire to win this week by going all in for another elite player. Amick says that's exactly what the Lakers should do. Amick says the Lakers tried a different approach a year ago, adding depth instead of searching for that one true megastar to go along with the greatest player of this generation, LeBron, of course, and their franchise big man, AD. So, Keyshawn, do you agree with what Sam Amick is sort of selling here? Um, okay. So, the whole LeBron started the... Well, Paul then probably started it, but LeBron got credit for the big three mm -hmm. superstardom type situation in Miami, right? Those were three bona fide all-star superstar pieces. Then they added a Ray Allen later on, but they had some other guys around them. So when I look at the Lakers situation and I look at the rest of the league, it's not three superstars that are winning the championship. There's two superstars, and then there's a guy who is a non-perennial all-star but may have got a cup of coffee at an all-star game here or there. It, it could project to be an all-star. So when you look at a Porzingis, it's not perennial all-star. It's not every single year he's going to the all-star game, all-star game, all-star game. You know, a cup of coffee. But he got the two young guys, that, and then they added another guy in Drew Holiday Derek White along the way, that's what the Lakers got to do. You go, there's no need to go out there and try to go get Steph Curry. Like, it, it, it's just like, what are you doing? That's not going to help you. You got to have a guy that maybe it, once upon a time was the lead dog of a team, but now he is the third option for you. In any moment, he can give you 15 real fast. That's the type of guy that I think they should go out and get. I don't need three dudes making $50 million a year or, or whatever the number is now, $60 yep. million a year. That, that doesn't seem like that doesn't win a championship for you. I mean, just look at, you know, and, and look at Phoenix, but they just got there with Bradley Beal and he was hurt in and out of lineup. But it doesn't smell like Phoenix is going anywhere anytime soon. I wouldn't consider Minnesota as deep as they went in the Western Conference Final with three superstars. I consider they got a rising guy in Ant-Man. They got a guy that comes and goes in, in, in Anthony Towns. And then they just got, you know, whatever you want to call uh, uh, Gobert. Gobert. Whatever you... He's, he's a four-time defensive player of the year. Yeah, but is that really, is that really <laughs> a four-time defensive player of the year, though, Paul? Like, is it really... I mean, or is it just a rim protector in the way? That's what, that's what they say. I get it, but I don't think you would honestly believe that. So when I look at it, where are there three bona fide superstar players winning championships? The Golden State era of three of them with Kevin Durant and, and, and Clay and Draymond, if you want to add him in there, and Steph, that's over with. That, that, that's not going to happen anymore. So I think they need a Drew Holiday type. So I would be happy with a DeJounte Murray and a Capella or a DeMar DeRozan. I would be happy with that. I think that would help them significantly. Okay. I, I do think they need a third star, but a different type of third star. I, I don't think, you know, J Jamal Murray, I, I think they need somebody to relieve LeBron of the number one A duties. If you're talking about winning a title, I think it's just too much to continue to ask LeBron to be that guy night in and night out throughout the course of an 82-game season, throughout the course of a long playoff run. The only guy in my mind that could be put them in position to win a championship is Donovan Mitchell. And I've been saying this because not only you, you put him in a position to say, hey, you're our guy. You're the 1A. Let's move LeBron over here to the 1B and let's let Anthony Davis... 1C? Continue, <laughs> continue to be the 2A two, two guy that he, he is on a championship team. Uh, you know, I just think if they're going to win a title we're talking about, because, I mean... I, the no, Lakers have two All NBA players. Skip, like uh, Celtics only have one. But whatever, they just, you know, and they won a title. Lies. Uh, that, that's what I'm saying. So I just think you can't. LeBron has to change the way he plays. You have to find a one A superstar, 
and there's only one out there that really makes the most sense. I mean, you're not going to get Booker. You're, you're not going to get Steph Curry and Kevin Durant. You know, so if they're trying to win a title, yes, if you can find a way to get rid of Reeves and, you know, the draft picks and all the rest of these minions they got over there, <laughs> you know, throw them all together in a pot and, and, and get them. Minions. Yeah, but, but, but you, 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 again, Paul, you're asking them to go get Donovan Mitchell. Yeah. You're going to have three dudes making a hundred and whatever, 160 some million dollars combined or between the three of them or whatever that number would be. Where's your depth? Like, who, what you going, you going to have a They bunch tried of... the depth route. This is the depth route right now. No, that, that's true. Right now they're in the depth route. That's that, not working. But remember what I said. It's playing. The, uh, the third guy doesn't have to be Donovan Mitchell. It could be a frontline guy, that, a once upon a time frontline guy. Do you realize? All right, listen, this is the Lakers' last five years, four years. All right, in I, I, 2020, I, I, they won. 21, they lost in the first round. 22, they missed. Well, they messed up. We should have kept our same team in 21. 23. That we, that we had in 20, we should have kept the same team in 21. I don't know what they was doing. 23, first round, first round. Conference finals, 23, and then first round again. I understand. They need to change up this. Uh, they should have kept everybody we had in 20. Why? I don't understand why we got rid of them to go into the 21 season. We literally got the only person we had come back was AD and, 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 uh, AD and LeBron. They need a 1A star. If they don't go after a 1A star and they don't pull up whatever they got over there to get a 1A star, it's not worth it. But, but, then we, but then we're going to run into the Phoenix problem. No depth. You can't have three superstars with nobody else to play. We're going to get a bunch of G League dudes making, you know, minimum money. And... No, they had chemistry issues, though. They needed a point guard. I mean, but that's you can what, argue that but that's the Celtics, whole point. But, but can you argue the Celtics don't have much depth, Skip? They don't. All right. They just what, don't. What, they After just, six right. or seven. So if you front load your starters, yeah. like Celtics... Would you consider them a team Celtics, like that? Celtics seven deep, man. Y'all, most okay. teams don't go. Most teams don't even go past eight. That's what I'm saying. You, what, are, what kind of depth are you looking for? You go front heavy on your starters, get your three superstars, and you get one or two guys to contribute off the bench. That's all you need. Okay, but Sam Amick referred to a megastar. They need that's to what, go get that's a what megastar. I'm saying. A one A star. No, yeah. not a megastar. A one A guy. Okay. But a one A. But. Megastar like mega is star. Donovan Mitchell. Yeah, uh, Megastar yeah, is Donovan it. Mitchell. Well, yeah. And I mean, how do you just snap your fingers and say, oh, come on over here and play with us? Well, it's it's not that simple. And there are these new CBA rules that just boggle my mind. I can't even comprehend yeah. all of it, but it's it's more difficult to pull that kind yeah, of move yeah. off today than it was yesterday. See, right? if you go get if you go get a DeMar DeRozan, it doesn't I, cost you anything. Yeah. He's in free agent. See, it doesn't cost you anything. No, it's gonna cost something. I mean, it costs you some money. It's going to cost you something. But it's but not I, costing I just... you a bunch of draft picks and stuff like yeah, that. Okay. You don't have to give up your Austin Reeves. Uh -huh. You don't have to give up your uh, connects, or connects. What about Trey Young? Does he help? I mean, I like Trey personally, but I don't know that that's what they're looking for. All right, yeah. let's get back to DeJounte. I do. DeJounte, DeJounte Murray. Murray. So all the reports say that they were close with DeJounte at the trade deadline, but Atlanta wanted a bunch of stuff, but they wanted the cherry on top was Austin Reeves, and L.A. said no. And now we're at the same impasse again. It might be on the front burner, but Austin Reeves, they're saying no, Austin Reeves. But it's, it's going to include Rui and a bunch of other stuff. You know, it's like all kinds of stuff's in there. And you're saying goodbye, Austin uh, Reeves. We developed you. You're a great guy. We'll yeah. see you. Keep your house here. We'll see you down the line. Okay. I can't fight you on this. As much as I think LeBron really likes Austin Reeves because he trusts him and he, and he will take and make big shots. But he's not going to score a whole lot of points, mainly because... It's LeBron and AD, and they're going to get the bulk of the, yeah. the shots and the work. So I'm looking at Austin Reeves last year had his best year, and he averaged 16, 4, and 6. Six assists is pretty good. Yeah, yeah that you know, is. That, that'll, that'll he work. He has some value. Yeah. yeah, he has some value. That's a third option. And, and yet, I, I still can't believe. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Third yeah. option giving you six assists. Yeah, yeah, it is. But DeJounte, we're talking some career numbers here, because last year he was 23, 5, and 6. And back in 2022, his last year with the Spurs, he was 21, 8, and 9. That was an all-star year. So he did make one all-star yeah. team. 
So is he better than Austin? Sure he is. He's just better. And I still can't believe the Spurs let him go or Derek White go. But, that's I, the, but see, that's the type of guy I'm saying they got to yeah. go get. Yeah. Like, because he can... would, he fits. He fits. He, he fits uh, the, the mold fits. of, he, he's not a perennial all-star. He made yeah. one all-star. I'm just not team. sure. Yeah. If, say, like, you take Austin Reeves out the equation and you put DeJounte, I'm not sure his numbers are going to be better than Austin Reeves. Think about it. You still got AD and LeBron. What are you expecting DeJounte Murray to get you? Yeah, that's true. No, it's hard. That's probably a little more you, you know what I'm probably saying? a little more consistency. You know, yeah. 16 sounds about right for him when you yeah. pair him with them. You know, he probably have more games, so he'll, he'll have more, he'll go off more. Yeah. But I mean, 16 sounds about yeah, right. but, you got but two go guys off, averaging but, but, but 20 I, plus points. But he'll go off more. So if I decide to sit them for whatever reason. I know I got him that could. Oh, they sat on and you, we saw Reeves do the same thing. He went into Boston and looked like Larry. Larry no, I'm not talking. About, I'm, not talking like, about, yeah. I'm not talking about sitting the whole game. I'm talking about just, just sitting a bunch yeah, of minutes. I mean, yeah, you that's know? what the Reeves, I got a guy who Reeves can go. does that. He plays well every time they don't play LeBron. Every time. You just want to. You, you 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 just want us to keep settling, huh? No, Dejounte doesn't push the needle. As I'm saying, you need to go after Mitchell. Well, I mean, we all right. Stay out. You, you, you just keep up in the duck boat and worry about this. <laughs> well, to Paul's earlier point on the show, Dalton Connect does give you a little flexibility here where you could say, buy Austin if you yeah, really what trust what yeah. you got yeah. here. Yeah. Or yeah. you could throw him in as the cherry on top, Dalton Connect. Maybe yeah. Atlanta would say, good trade. Yeah. And then we get, And then if we get Capella, we get another body there, too. Okay. Let's what do it. Do it. Up next, we got to talk Paul George. Wait, 